What's going on everybody? It's D Coop back again bringing you guys another Madden 15 ratings video. And this time I want to start the video off with one of the most controversial ratings in in uh, Madden. And it's not really that controversial. It's just everybody loves Johnny Manziel. I mean, you love him, you hate him. He he's a hot topic. With that being said, Johnny Football comes in with a 77 overall, a 82 speed, a 91 acceleration, which I must say is pretty good, and a 93 agility. So, with that being said, um, do you guys think the Johnny Football rating is fair? And also, with that being said, let's move into some AFC South ratings. As you guys can go ahead and see on the screen, the top four Browns, we have Joe Thomas. He was on the top offensive lineman. Uh, Liz, I don't think I actually did that. I was actually contemplating doing that. We have Joe Hayden. Another, man, the Browns have some top players, man. Joe Hayden was also on the top cornerback list. And we have Alex Mack. I'm not sure if he was on the offensive line list, but it wouldn't shock me if he was. Well, he would be on the top center list for sure. I'm not sure offensive line. And we have Josh Gordon, another controversial rating. Josh Gordon in 92. Now, a lot of people were like, I think they lowered Josh Gordon because of, uh, you know, the drug thing or uh, the bad publicity. But I don't think that's fair because he's a 92, and I think Josh Gordon is easily, without a doubt, the second best receiver in the league. Once again, that's just my opinion. Um, Josh Gordon did some unbelievable things with uh, average at best quarterbacks throwing him the ball, and I'm I'm not saying Hoyer is uh, is is completely average. I like Hoyer. I like Hoyer, but I mean, uh, what Josh Gordon was working with and what he was doing. And the way teams were covering him, and, and you know he's the real only weapon in no run game. I mean, it was phenomenal, man. You can't knock the guy. Unbelievable talent. With that being said, let's move to the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. We got Marquise Pouncey. And as I look at the, these lists, I'm a little confused because Pouncey is one with an 88, and then Timmons is an 88, and Big Ben is a 90, but a Antonio Brown's number four at a 92. And I'm, I'm shocked also because Troy Palamalu isn't on this list. Um, with that being said, though, Antonio Brown, a controversial wide receiver rating. Um, I definitely thought he should have cracked the top five also, uh, maybe knocking off Dez. Once again, though, um, Dez had an up and down season. His highs were extremely high and his lows weren't, I don't think, incredibly low, but they were they were kind of low. Um, <laughs> Steelers, though, they, they definitely have a lot of improving to do, even though the eight and eight season, I kind of feel like they they I, I guess they achieved somewhat adequately because uh the offensive line was patchwork. I mean, Le'Veon Bell. I'm not a big fan of the guy, but he went to he went to work last year. He was he was injured to start. He had a big workload. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not a Le'Veon Bell fan. Do not sign me up for that bandwagon. But uh, with that being said, let's move on to the Baltimore Ravens. We have Halodi Nada at a 92, Justin Tucker at a 93, Ladarius Webb at a 90, and Steve Smith, the old savvy Carolina Panther. But your newest Baltimore Raven coming in with an 87. Man, Flacco is not on this list. Flacco, didn't Flacco declare himself elite? I, I feel so bad for uh, the direction that the NFL is taking, paying these quarterbacks absurd amounts of money. I mean, I think Flacco is making the same amount as Drew Brees. Uh, with that being said, we're going to move on. We have Big Geno Atkins, AJ Green, Carlos Dunlap. And last but not least, Leon Hall. A little disappointed to not see perfect on uh the defense on on the ratings list at all to to say the least you know dunlap and gino two beasts on the d line no uh they have another beast man i forgot his name uh with that being said though we're going to wrap up the madden 15 ratings for today let me know what you guys think uh definitely more coming soon johnny manzel josh gordon Browns fans, man, I'm looking out for you guys. A, a, a lot of tough seasons. Some passionate fans out there in Cleveland. Things will definitely turn around sooner than later. I'm Deku, and I'm out.